So today we're gonna create this type of animation. It is a drag, drag graph. <laughs> it is a drag type animation, drag left and drag right animation. And then if you click on it, it will expand and show the full detail of a screen, right? So let's just jump into it and just group the text layers. I'm gonna duplicate this, guys. There. And now let's just duplicate. After duplicating, we're just gonna group the text layers now. After grouping the text layers, we're gonna group the text layers with the images itself. So that we will not be confused. Okay. And now what we'll first do is create a this thing. Um it's a margin. Just so you will know the margin of each card. Make it red. It's just a guide, okay? So, and the second thing, important thing you would do is disable this one so that you will see the overflow of your content. As you can see there, you can see the overflow there. So if I like put it here and then just make it overflow, you can see it's still on the frame one, but you can see the overflow of the content. So we'll just arrange it like that now. Mm -hmm. Arrange it on the side with this guide also guiding us. And then this one also. Be sure that it is on the frame, frame one there. And use the arrow keys to adjust them. I know it's very, very annoying if I. This is the annoying part of it, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm still using the arrow keys. You can select it using your mouse, but don't move it with your mouse. Okay? Because sometimes it will go out of frame, and then if it, if it will go out of frame, you will be annoyed, actually. Like this one. See that? It goes out of frame. But if it is it's like this. If this half is inside, and then the other half is in the outside, if you drag it outside, it will go outside the frame. But if it is already full inside, like that, if you move this, you can see that it's not going out of frame. You see? You'll have to drag it again inside and then drag it outside to make it out of frame. It's a bit confusing, but yeah, that's the annoying part of this animation, actually. So, we will reduce the size of these two okay we'll have we'll hit k k is the scale button about let's say uh 550 or mm, about there that's 550 and then let's just move it above there a bit of a center a bit in the center of this one. We don't want it to do, like to be perfect or something. We just want it to be looking good. And then after we do that, we will double click to get these layers, the sex layer, into a zero opacity. I'm gonna make it a zero opacity, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's just check if this is okay. The padding is reduced now. Let's just move it a bit. Now we can see that we've made the first. I think that's good overall. And let's just check again this height and the bottom part of it. I think we're going to move it a bit top there. Nice. And then the next frame will have this expanded, right? Mm -hmm. Just move this above. So now this duder will be the smaller one. And this one is will be the bigger one. So now we'll hit K again. And then reduce it about this size. 
other one. Okay, that's good. One sixty one. And then move this in this side. We'll have this one in a zero opacity. Don't forget our guides, okay? This should not show like that. And then this will be about here. This text will show. Okay, 100. This would be 310 to 1. Okay, 310 to 1. Like that. 310 to 1. 3. And six. This is a bit big. Oh, it's snapping. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay. Let's just have. Let's just base this one. <laughs> so I have the proper positioning of it. Good. And then this guy will be about here. There we go. So this is here, and then we need to have the back. So we'll just have to duplicate this and put it there. So we're going to swipe to here, it will expand, and then swipe back to here, it will expand. Let's glue this. So let's test the animation first, okay? Let's have a test animation. Prototype, then drag here, click this element, and drag to the next frame. So I'm going to repeat that again. Uh, first, go to, this is the sign, right? Go to prototype, click this card, click this button. It will appear at a plus sign and go to the bottom side. And we'll have it on drag. And ease out of 300 milliseconds. That's good for good, good enough for me. But you can have it like faster enough, right? After like about 100. And then for the next one, we'll have again click on this card, click on the plus sign here, drag it down, and we'll have that on drag 100 milliseconds. So just test the animation. So here is it on drag. Like that. As you can see, it is very iffy. Okay. And this animation, Figma sometimes like allows you to drag the whole screen if you don't place your tap pointer, your finger pointer on the right direction. So you need to place it about here. Here and go. Uh so the last part is the moving up of the expanding of this element. So let's have that for now. Um this one's going there, right? So the frame is this frame is here. Then we'll have a tap. We'll tap this, and we'll, it will expand. Okay. Mm, duplicate that. Delete. This guy will get deleted or not? Uh, yeah. 
I think this on the bottom side will disappear. So let's just have this one on the zero opacity. So this guy won't show, so let's delete that. So this one will have on, on the zero opacity and just move it away. And this will have this element expanded to the top side like that. And I think I'm gonna edit this radi radius a bit. So the top should be zero and the top right should be zero also. And to move this thingy. This will go there. And we will have an appearing play button. So this play button will have an appearance from this bottom side here. Have it on zero. And it will appear going up here. Have it on 100 opacity. 100. And we have to expand it a bit. That I guess we have to make it the shadow, and then let's add some more text there, like the description text. So, this is a new one. We'll just need to duplicate this, paste the description text there. Like that, we'll have it on 100 opacity. And we'll have to paste it before, right? So that it will like smoothly transition. Mm -hmm. Let's just be sure it is in the frame. So we have this one on zero opacity and it will go down here about there so this will appear to going up there so now we'll have to animate this mm -hmm. i think we'll have a back button somewhere here hmm. or a slide up slide up there uh, I just, I'm thinking how to go back to the previous screen I think the back button would be good we'll have this one guy so the best uh, the actually actual best practice of this one is to slide up right slide up to remo to remove but it would like take more screens. So I'm keeping this as simple as possible, actually. So I'll just have a back button there. Let's have it with a fill so that it will be a bit visible. And have it about 50 opacity, I think. Like that. The play button is a bit wonky. Add a blue. Yeah. And duplicate this one. That will go back. To the previous. Previous screen. So now we're going to animate this. Uh. We'll have this prototype 
then drag this to this. And then we'll have it on tap. We'll have it A, navigate to this. It will be smart animate. Now this one, we need to have like a uh, illusion that user that's just tap the screen. So how we do it is we'll go to custom, click on this one first and drag below there. You'll see there's a bump there. So it will reduce the size first of this card and then it will gradually move up. So it seems like it has been it has been pressed. That would be the the reasoning for this animation. So the next one is this one. I have a back back button going here. You just have simple on tap. On tap and let's not have this um ease out. Like that. So now if we preview the animation it would look a little bit nice. We set it again. So first animation is drag one there. Drag one there. Second animation is let us do that. Drag then drag to the side. There. And then we will tap this. See? It clicks and it expands and then we'll have the buff button. There we go. So I think that's it. I hope this animation stuff has very has very been informative to you guys. So that's it. I hope you enjoy the animation for now. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Give a like if you like this video. Be sure to subscribe for other Figma related videos. And I hope to see you soon. Stay safe everyone and have a good one.